So you finish your prompt, you figured out, okay, this is my topic. So now, what do I want to say about my topic? What do I need to start actually researching about it? What are the basic questions that I need to have about my topic that I need to answer? Well, your research questions are actually essentially important because they're kind of like a laundry list. They're used to guide you through this huge storehouse of knowledge that you, you could possibly find out there, of information. Um, and by developing this list, it's a great place to get started, and it helps you more efficiently locate, retrieve, take notes, and sift through and organize all this vast wealth, deep information that you could come across between people and your books and the internet and everything else. Um, and it also, these questions that you develop also help keep you from getting totally off track because it's easy to kind of start wandering off in a direction that has nothing to do with your topic. So it'll help keep you organized as you're starting your writing. And also it's something to remember that um, your questions will probably change. The, 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 not static. They're they're gonna evolve as you as you do more research and you find more. So, so when developing your questions, what you are going to do is you are going to ask yourself as many questions as you can about the subject. Don't think about them, don't discuss them, don't even judge the questions. Just go, okay, here's my topic. So like this. Topic is common core. What are the different questions about Common Core that I can come up with? Um, what is Common Core? What is the purpose of your Common Core? Why was it developed? Who developed it? Just start writing down as many questions as you can. Or even write down statements about it. Because what you can then do is take those statements and turn around and turn it into questions to help you. So first you're going to do that, then you, once you're done writing down as many as you can possibly think of, then you can go back and revise those questions. Um, take a look at them, evaluate them. Are they open-ended or are they closed questions? Can they be answered with a yes or no? If they can be answered with a yes or no, there's an issue with the question. It's not going to lead you anywhere. It's not going to help you um, look up information. So you don't want something that could just answer yes or no. You want it to be more of an open-ended, thought-provoking question. Um, kind of look at the advantages and disadvantages of all the questions. And okay, is, what, is this really a good question? What are the advantages to having it versus what could it hurt in my research? Um, and also, you know, if the, if one of the disadvantages is it's a closed-ended question, or it does, or it has a problem with it, could you change it or shift that question in some way to to make it better, or to make it not closed-ended, to make it an open-ended question? Um, then, once you've done both those two things, take the best three questions you have, rank them, rank all your questions, one to ten or whatever, however many you have, and go. What are the best? three questions about this subject I have and use that to start really start your research because those three questions are going to be your guiding factors and you want to think how you're going to use those questions to look everything up and to help research you but those are going to be the basis of it and you know really developing research questions and working with research questions doesn't stop there because as you're writing it those questions may change they may shift as you find more information or you may find out hey this question doesn't really work at all throw it out the door and go okay I need a different one so developing research questions is an ongoing process through the whole time you're writing your research paper and using them they're a core essential part of that process when you start it so spend a lot of time on working on it. Keep in mind some of the quick tips I gave you. 
and good luck. See you next time.